Hello, my name is Paul Miners and welcome to another one of my Asana training videos. In this video, I want to show how you can create task templates using the new feature in Asana. Now, if you have any questions at the end of this video, please feel free to leave me a comment below. And if you do want to learn more about my one-on-one -on -one consulting services, if you need help setting up optimizing Asana for your team, or if you want training, uh, then check out the link in the description below to learn more about my Asana consulting options. Okay, so let's get into this video. And at the time of recording this, this task templates feature is a relatively new feature. Uh, for premium users, we've had project templates for a while, which is great if you want to set up an entire project uh, for let's say maybe events that you plan or clients that you work with, you could have a template for an entire project. And just recently, Asana has introduced task templates. So some examples that I wanna show you here today, I've actually got a couple here in my account, are task templates for creating blog posts or videos. These are one uh, templates that I've started to use. So you'll find these under the customize menu of your project. Now, I should point out that templates are added at a project level. So if I add templates in here, if I go to a different project and go to customize, you'll see there's no templates here. So templates are added at that project level, just something to keep in mind if you do want to use templates across multiple projects. Essentially, that means you have to create them multiple times. So let me show you the process of adding a new template. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if I click here to add a template, <coughs> brings up my template compose window, and I can just give my template a, uh, a kind of default name. So I could say podcast template. I can then choose who do I want these tasks assigned to when I use the template. So I'm just gonna assign it to myself. I can also set a relative due date. So maybe let's say when I use this template, the task should be due, let's say seven or 10 days after I can after I create the task. Uh, and you could even use a date range. So it maybe it starts in seven days and is due in 14 days, something like that. Actually, for this example, I'm not gonna, not gonna use that. Uh, you can see here any custom fields that I've added to my project, like statuses, uh, categories uh, that I've added here. Um, those custom fields show up in your template so you can even pre-fill certain values. Any text you insert will also copy across into your um, actual task as well. So you could put in perhaps like instructions in here. So I might even say, you know, uh, podcast content, you know, uh, maybe guest and um, you know, music, I don't know, I'm just coming up with examples, but you know, you could put in this example structure of how you want the description to be filled in. And then finally down the bottom, this is really where the templates are very useful, is you can create a checklist of subtasks. So I could say for this podcast, I need to record my podcast, edit podcast, you know, uh, upload to where, uh, upload to a host, you know, create blog post, and so on. So this is my checklist ready to go. And these can all also be assigned as well. So maybe let's say um, I'm gonna do the recording and you know somebody else on my team is gonna do these other steps. And then I can choose even to add collaborators to my task as well. So there we go, I'm pretty happy with that now. So I'm gonna click done and you can see it joins my other templates here. So you can see I've got one for uh, blog posts, which is sort of a very similar structure and for creating videos as well. You know, basically the checklists are just slightly different. And so now when it comes to using this, if I add a new item up here, instead of starting with a blank task or milestone, I can choose one of my templates now. So if I go ahead and pick that podcast template, uh, I can say, right, you know, interview with John Smith. And you can see, uh, actually one of my rules has run there. So that's actually quite useful. Uh, Asana has applied one of the rules to my template and where did it go? Interview with John Smith, here we go. You can see the um, custom fields have been filled in, the content there and the subtasks have been created as well. So as you can see, pretty straightforward. So a couple of other examples of templates that you might want to create. Obviously, you know, here's some examples for creating content. If I go to my demo account here, I've got a template for meetings. So you can see here, this is how I'm structuring a meeting with, for example, a client. So I've got sort of a date structure here, uh, and then I've got a placeholder for the person's name. I've said here, this is where the meeting notes should be typed. And then I have this sort of um, section here in my subtasks for where we plan the agenda items 
and action items. So then when I use this template, I could say, right, here's a new meeting. Let's go 210310 meeting with Tim Cook. And then I can I can start listing my agenda items here. So you know we're going to talk about the iPhone and MacBook. Whoops. And you know we would list the action items here during our meeting. So I think meeting templates, great use or uh, yeah great use of this new templates feature. And if I go to my uh, sales CRM project here, you can see I've created one for new leads. So if I'm using Asana as a sort of a lead management system, I can create one here for let's say Jane Doe. And you can see it puts in a default value and the checklist I need to go through to qualify a lead and uh, you know get that lead signed up for my business. And actually in this example, what I've done, if I go to show you how this template was set up, I've actually inputted a date here. So this is my way of saying um, this lead needs to be closed seven days after we create the task. So it sort of sets that duration for when the task needs to be completed by. So obviously these are just a couple of examples uh, based on your business. I'm sure you'll be thinking of your own use of how to use these templates. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave me a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.